Hey guys, this is Real Rex coming to you from Shenzhen, China. Um, so I took a trip out to Shanghai, and this is the uh, this is a little project that I'm working on. Well, I shouldn't say little, but it is a project I'm working on. That's very exciting. This is my maybe third or fourth time out to Shanghai. Now those are little dino birds that were flying there. That's Mavic. Um, we set up a little track just to test the environment, how it looks. I think it looks pretty nice. And we kind of, you know, are going for the Mario Kart type of thing here. Hopefully it's going to work. And the park obviously is not completely done. So this is kind of like a bare layout. And then from here a lot of uh, trees are going to be planted. They are shipping over some trees, some expensive trees from Australia. So that's coming over soon, it's going to be planted soon. The grass is being uh, matured. and grown into the soil. As you can see there's a nice little lake in the center that's actually not very deep. And then the whole thing is, uh, is, an, is actually an island and it's surrounded by water. Water on all three sides. A little bit more like Mario Kart though, more like what we really want to see in a drone race. So, pretty cool stuff. This here actually is the Snail ESC. This is the first time I am actually flying the Snail ESC. I got a little tune out of it, finally. I struggled a little bit, but uh, managed to get everything together for the Shanghai trip. Go down. That Shanghai right there. I met up with a couple more friends. Uh, this is a little little hobby shop slash hangout place. Um, of the and this is the owner of Rock Batteries, I believe. That's Snowman and Hum. Um actually had a pretty cool ride as you can see. He brought out one of his cars. One of his many cars. Um, and apparently it all stays in the garage now because drone racing is way more fun. Which is awesome to hear. But equally awesome that he brought his car out for me to experience. I've actually never been in a Lambo before. Where do you drive this car? I usually drive in a shoe off way like Chintendi or because I only drive it a short time. Before I marry, I drive it every day. We were having like crazy reactions to your car. <laughs> you yeah. um, and before you pass any judgment here, Hum is actually a Formula 2, Formula 3 driver. He is a professional driver, so we were not driving any reckless paths roads or anything. And speeding in Shanghai is actually okay. Uh, cops don't care, so... So we decided to head to the garage. Uh, this is probably like 10, 11, actually more towards like 11. I am flying the snail ESCs once more, once again. And by this time I, I tuned it a little bit more so I feel comfortable in the garage. I was kind of scared actually. I've never actually flown in a garage before. But I 
think I did, I did pretty okay. There's me chasing those two guys. So this here is Kiss Kissy. What you saw before was the snail he sees, and I, I really could tell the difference in the garage, where the Kiss he sees are very, very smooth. I think they have some kind of damping or something in there that makes it different, uh, where it really tames the, uh, the RPMs for some reason. Whereas the Whereas the snail ESCs are more like Beale Heli. But I would say a little bit more accurate, more snappy, and more precise. By the end of the night, I think I ripped out my VTX and my other one, so I went back to my KISS setup, and here my GoPro actually stopped working. I'm still actually carrying the GoPro just for the tune, but I was pretty comfortable with the track and started flying a little bit faster. I haven't seen too many people race with the KISS setup, but it, it definitely is a lot smoother, for sure. So I was a lot more confident. I would say, probably for a beginner, a KISS setup is a lot easier to race with. Oh, I also want to add this entire trip Actually, the, the entire two to three weeks I've, I've had these KISS and KISS DJI setups, I've been using the same propellers the entire time. And it really impressed me this time because I crashed a whole bunch of times and never once did the prop ever break. In fact, to this day, I have not broken any 5048S props. The whole quick release thing is awesome. I was a little bit hesitant in the beginning, kind of looks weird, but I love not having to bring my prop wrench enough to hurt my hand when screwing the thing. I'm not losing any bolts, you know, I'm not dropping anything. It's just quick. I never put on the wrong propeller, and boom, you're ready to go. And they never break. They haven't broken yet, so still waiting for that day. I'm sure I'll break one at some point. But I definitely had tons of fun with this setup. And you know, at the end of the day, that's, that's all that matters, right? So, good stuff. Good stuff. Had a lot of fun on this trip. Hopefully, uh, I'll be able to do more. Alright. I will see you guys at the next episode.